this is where the conversation gets really important. So cancer cells thrive in high insulin environments, high glucose availability, chronic inflammation, dysregulated metabolic signaling, insulin is a growth signal, and cancer loves growth signals. So while I'm not making medical claims, here's what the research is exploring. Berberine may inhibit glycolysis, the sugar burning process cancer relies on. It may activate the AMPK, reducing growth signaling. It may slow angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessel tumor use. It may help support apoptosis, the natural cell death process. Again, the research is ongoing, but I'm seeing it over and over and over. So just do your homework and really start researching berberine and you will be amazed at the impact that this little plant chemical can do for the body. Again, the research is ongoing, but the metabolic implications are really promising. Cancer is not just a genetic disease. It's also deeply metabolic. Supporting metabolic health matters. It, they go hand in hand. You gotta have good metabolic health to keep the cancer at bay.